Hi everybody! Okay, so I'm going to do my Friday favorites and fails. Let's just get right into it. The first thing I want to talk about um, are a couple of nail polishes. It's the current combination I have on right now. I need to redo them because they are looking pretty rough because they are chipping. Um, but I just absolutely love this combination and I really love these colors. This color is Coral Reef from Sally Hansen. And then I have a ring accent finger with the Zoya Arizona. I think they're just such fun colors for summer. It's just something a little bit different than doing like a glitter accent. So I just decided to do like a different color accent. And I really like the combination of these two of the orange and pink together. Or I guess it's more of a coral. Um, but I just really like the combination. Okay, next favorite. I whipped this out because not every day I want to put on foundation. Um, and there's a lot of days that I'm just running to the grocery store and I'm just going to be outside playing. So I've been whipping out my Stila Tinted Moisturizer. It has an SPF of 30 in it, which is really nice. It's easy just to throw on. This does give like a really dewy, glowy look. So if you don't like uh, dewy skin or if you have really oily skin, this might not be the perfect tinted moisturizer for you. Um, but I just really love, it gives pretty good coverage. It's not going to cover everything because it's just a tinted moisturizer. But it just it looks really pretty on the skin. And I really like the texture and how it feels. Okay, next favorite. Um, because on days I don't wear foundation, I just wear my tinted moisturizer. I feel like I need a heavy duty concealer, um, especially underneath my eyes. I have still, I have a lot of concealer on. I still have yet to found my perfect under eye concealer. So if you guys have suggestions, um, let me know because I just naturally have really dark circles. Like, and it's hard to cover up. But so far, this is my favorite. This is the Mac Select Moisture or not? This is the Studio Finish Concealer. Um, I really like it. It's really full coverage, but like I said, still, it's not my holy grail, so if you guys have some suggestions, because I have pretty predominant dark circles. Even with a lot of concealer, I still just look tired all the time, but I did, I did the makeup tutorial, well, not a tutorial. I did a get ready with me uh, video for the makeup I have on currently, so that will be up maybe Sunday shortly or Monday, you know. It'll be up in the next couple days if you're interested in the makeup I have going on right now. Um... Yeah, so I do really like this. It's really good for covering acne as well. Um, but just for my under eyes, guys, give me suggestions. I need some. I need some. Okay, next favorite. I've whipped out um, this blush. And this blush right here is Max Dolly Mix. And this is the blush that got me addicted to blush. Yeah, does that make sense? This is my first ever high-end brand, um, I guess blush like before this I was never a blush person and then after this is when like my whole addiction to blush that like, came into play I didn't wear blush until I was 22 can you believe that so I've only been wearing blush for five years but I absolutely can't imagine going a day without blush so this is max dolly mix um this it's a sheer tone shimmer so it has a little bit of a shimmer a little bit of a frost but it's sheer too where it looks really bright and scary and pigmented and it is but it can be sheared out and blend it out to just a really nice pinky glow and I just really love it. I have it on right now. Um, I just think it's a really amazing, amazing blush and you guys should definitely check it out. Don't let the color scare you because it does look very pigmented and kind of scary in the pan. But since it's that sheer tone shimmer, it just gives that really nice healthy pink glow. And I can't believe I just haven't been using it for so long. And I just have fallen back in love with it because it gives me that kind of like I've just been outside that nice healthy glow and like I just love it. Really pretty. <laughs> okay, next favorite. You guys saw this in my haul recently. Um, but this color in particular, this one is called Love Sick and it's the Revlon Just Bit Inkissable Balm Stain. And it's just such a pretty color. Like I just love it. It's like a fuchsia. And what I like the most about these is, see that's it right there, it has really good pigmentation, um, really good color payoff, and it's really glossy at first, but once it wears off, it leaves the most beautiful stain to your lips. And it just reminds me of like Hannah from Pretty Little Liars, how she always has like a really nice kind of pinky stained pout, and that's what it reminds me of. I, I don't know how to describe it other than that it reminds me of Hannah from Pretty Little Liars. Um, because after it wears off, it just lasts for hours and hours. That pretty, like, pink stain. I love it. Okay. Last favorite. 
yeah okay as you also saw in my haul but I really really like this I have it on right now this is the um, L'Oreal color riche and this one is in cotton pink there we go and it's just this really beautiful light baby pink color and these feel more moisturizing to me than the Revlon lip butters that's right there sorry I have other swatches <laughs> I'm swatched up but it's just a really nice luxurious filling lipstick um, for a fraction of the price I think a lot of people compare these um, to YSL and like Chanel I've seen some people talk about and it's really good quality I haven't tried any of those higher end brands because I just can't force myself to fork up the money for those but I'm sure they're wonderful um, but for now I will love my L'Oreal one okay um, so yeah that's all for my favorites I have a couple fails. One's kind of like my TMI fail, and some of you really like when I talk about the stuff, some of you like, uh, quit talking about that stuff. <laughs> so we'll start with TMI, right? Go for it. Um, it's about, <laughs> it's a tampon. <laughs> I feel really funny, but oh well. Um, most of us are all females, and these, um, these are the new Tampax, the radiant ones, and they're revolutionary because they have a resealable package which is great and everything so it's like this it has a little sticker that you could open and then reseal and it would be revolutionary if it worked properly because even though after you are done using it you know you can just let's take it out let's say you wanted to put it back in here and reseal it well the wrapper is so flimsy it doesn't make it any easier to get it back in there so you could dispose of it does that make sense so essentially, like, they're the same thing as Tampax Pearl, just in a different packaging and with a sticker on the outside. So they're a little bit more expensive, so there's really not any need to spend more money on it. So that's why I wanted to include it in the fail, because they're just essentially the same thing, except for a sticker on the outside. And I know that's kind of weird to talk about, but, I mean, I get suckered in no matter what. Like, if it has pretty packaging, I'm like, ooh, I'll try that one out. And, you know, it's okay. It's not, they're not bad, but it's just, it's not worth more money for Okay, last fail. Oh, these aren't TMI fails. Ugh. These are my e.l.f. eyelash curlers, and I literally loved my old pair, but they changed it on me. So this is what the old pair looked like. Absolutely love it. You see the handles are different, but the top of it is what makes the big difference. I don't care that the handles are different in the new ones, but it's the top. They made it bigger. Can you see? This is the new one, and this was the old one. Um, it just doesn't work as well and it pinches like this old one never pinched my eyes like it was just perfect for my eye shape and my eye size where this one's just too big and it pinches my eyelids and I just hate it and I'm so mad because literally like the old version was my holy grail and they just kind of they still work but they just they're kind of like one sided now like one side goes up higher than the other um, uh, so I might just like spend the money and get like a good pair of eyelash curlers because curling your eyelashes really does make a huge difference but so the elf eyelash curlers I I don't like them as much as the old ones and it makes me really sad because when you have something you love so much and then they change it on you it doesn't work for you that's frustrating so those are my Friday favorites and fails hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it wasn't too TMI for you um, hopefully it helped out. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hurt you guys all. Bye, everybody.